So Han Solo is, uh, he's a maverick. Um, I think he's a very enigmatic character. He likes to think he's one thing, but deep down he's something else. Um, it's a character that uh, I think, he, for me certainly, I want to know how he became that person that we meet in A New Hope. Um, and this film is just a fantastic adventure story and it shows some of the characters that Han has been influenced by in his younger life. Uh, and it's literally just the beginning of, of how he becomes this person that we see in A New Hope. Um, he's the coolest character in Star Wars. <laughs> it's going to sound like a, uh, like a pre-programmed answer, but truly I think it's, it's got things that are going to appeal to, to everyone. Um, there's so much legacy in the story, in the character. Uh, it's Han Solo, it's Lando Calrissian, it's a Millennium Falcon, it's Chewbacca. You know, it's, there are characters that we absolutely know and love and I think hardcore fans are really going to enjoy um, just seeing those characters and how they were formed and there's, there's lots of Easter eggs of things that people will recognize perhaps from you know, further, further down uh, their lives um, that are being uh, touched on here. Um, interestingly, Solo is the first Star Wars film for years which is a, it's a gateway movie to Star Wars. So you don't need to know anything about Star Wars to come along and actually see the story unfold. Uh, whereas a lot of the previous films, because they've been episodic, you kind of need to know what happened in previous episodes to jump in here. Um, even with Rogue One, you kind of needed to know a little bit about what happened in A New Hope to, you know, to, to get a lot of the stuff that was going on. Whereas this, we really are meeting Han and his cohorts at such a young age. We're learning with them. I'm really hoping that for a young audience, uh, this, this really is you know, uh, a, a gateway to that galaxy far, far away. And actually you can watch this movie and then really go and enjoy all the other movies that form the franchise that we love. That's interesting, I guess. You know, Larry and, and John Kasdan were the writers, and Larry wrote Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, and The Force Awakens. And I don't think there's anyone else who who just naturally understands the the tone of Star Wars and the voices of Star Wars. So the kind of it just kind of naturally happened in terms of you know uh, how does it feel like the other movies. Um, but then what was really interesting is you then bring in a bunch of filmmakers and, uh, and we literally sit there and go, okay, what can we do differently? Um, the lighting by Bradford Young is phenomenal. It's a character in the movie. It's incredibly bold. Uh, the action in the movie is, this has more action than any. Evening, this is your second call for Solo. A Star Wars story in NFT One. Your second call for Solo. A Star Wars story in NFT One. Please take your seats now. Thank you. Um, the action in the movie. Uh, there's there's more action in this film than in any other Star Wars film. We took a decision early on um, when we were talking about okay, what are we going to do differently? And one of the things we wanted to do was to really try and do a lot of the action in camera to the point that you know there's a speeder chase in the movie and traditionally that would have been a couple of speeders against green screen and instead we uh, we built speeders with great big engines in them and uh, painted out the wheels but pretty much the whole of that chase was shot on location actually at Tilbury Docks uh, in London and at Forley Power Station in Southampton and when you see the actors going around a corner and you see the g-force the wind in their hair it's all real and the reason we did that was uh, to try and keep audiences more connected. Like we're big believers in physics and chaos and all the things that just make something feel real. Um, and I'm really excited to see how audiences react to that. Um, but with the standalone films, it's about how you can disrupt, how you can do things that are different. Um, and I think we've uh, we've achieved that. Uh, we've achieved that in spades, and I'm super excited for people to see it. See what they think. Thank you very much for no your time. Look forward to seeing you.